All right, what we've got here is a GoPro Session 4, and this uh, camera was involved in a drone crash. And so I'm a member of a local drone group on Facebook, and somebody said, hey, this doesn't work anymore, and if somebody wants it, they can have it. So, very generous of him, and I'm going to see if maybe I can breathe some life into this unit. Um, there's not a lot of good information online about tearing these down. Um, iFixit's page is pretty bad. They basically have you destroying the camera in the process. So, we're going to see if we can find another way in. Now, this, this little guy is missing the back cover. Um, so, I guess maybe it popped off in the crash. I don't know. But... In any case, it, uh, I don't think you really need to remove this to repair the camera, just FYI. Um, but, uh, you know, I think if we put this in a case, if we're able to fix it, you know, it won't really matter. So what this camera is doing is um, it records, but uh, what you get is a video that is kind of has a purple hue to it, and the bottom third of the screen or so is just this white fuzziness. And at first I thought it was cutting the image off, but I think it's actually squishing the image up into the top section of the screen. Um, what's really interesting is if you connect this camera to the app uh, on your phone with Wi-Fi, you get a mostly normal image, um, which would imply the sensor itself is okay. Um, and maybe it's something with the card reader itself or something else. So it may be just trash, but thought maybe it'll be something simple. We could maybe reseat some uh, some headers on some of the ribbon cables and get lucky. Uh, so let's see if we can figure out how to get into this without actually destroying it. Um, so I think the way into the camera, we've got uh, eight uh, T4 Torx screws around the perimeter of the lens here. Um, so let's go ahead and pull those off. And I turned it on by mistake. And so that's another interesting thing I'll go ahead and point out is that it does record uh, okay at 30 frames per second, but I noticed if I switch it over to 60 frames per second, uh, this counter just locks up at zero uh, seconds. It doesn't do anything at all and the, the whole camera locks up. So um, possibly that's related to the other issue. And so now, hopefully this glass just pulls off. That's it. Okay, so I think what we want to do um, is the, all the all the guts of the camera just pulls out. You know, I fix it had you just basically destroying the outside of the camera, uh, but this whole outer shell and back piece is all one molded um, molded piece. Um, so the uh, the camera and uh, and the guts need to pull out of the front like this. So move over these teeny tiny screws and try heating it up a little bit um, and see if we can soften. I think there's just a glue around here. See if we can soften it up enough to open it up. So another quick tip is we want to open this uh, batter or the SD cover door. Um, that's part of this. Up, uh, ring on the front, uh, so it'll need to be opened up in order for that to pry off. I'm going to go ahead and pull my SD card out of here. And I'm just going to apply some low heat. We don't want to melt this. I hate to use something metal, but I just don't think plastic tools are going to cut it. It's going to get dinged up a little bit. There it goes. You can see it's starting to open up on this side.
I mean, I generally hate using metal screwdrivers to pry things like this apart because you get pry marks all over it. But just doesn't seem to want to come apart otherwise. Aha. Uh -huh. There you have it, I fix it. It's not pretty. Got a little bit of uh, pry marks around the edge. I would say that is a uh, 10 times more effective way of pulling this apart um, than what they showed with the Dremel. And I mean, this can be put back together and used, assuming we can figure out what's wrong with it. Um, so we've got the uh, battery here and so we've got a couple of ribbon cables here and um, you know, let's start with these ribbon cables here and pop them off and see about reseating them. These just pull up like this. So I don't know what those go to, but we'll see if it makes any difference in our recording. Alright, let's put our SD card back in here. And let's go ahead and try to get this thing connected to the Wi-Fi. Hey. Still working and it's still glitching. Huh. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't notice this earlier, but when you do hit record, the app switches to this view that we were seeing in the earlier video. Why they have Phillips screws in the middle here, where the T4 screws everywhere else? Only GoPro knows. I don't really know if this is the correct way to get into this, but making it up as I go along. Do 
have another ribbon cable here. It appears to be like the others. Uh, there's one way back in there. I'm really not sure how you're supposed to put it back together after you take it off. Connector there and there, or here and here. So maybe one of those was loose. Try to decide whether to put it back together and see if reseating those fixes it or tear into it further. But it's getting really sketchy. <laughs> the further I get in. So one quick note is that connector that was way back in this corner on the back end of the board towards the front of the camera here that I was lamenting about. There is a little bit of extra uh, cable teched into this cavity right here so that you can get it back out and reconnect it. And I think for now, I'm just going to kind of reconnect these cables and see what happens. But it does look like we would want to get this cable tucked back in this cavity because you've got some sort of a chip here and these are usually little uh, heat transfer pads so we don't want the cable to get stuck between this chip and the heat transfer pad so I'm guessing we want to push try to push it back down in that little hole broken. So we're back to this stage again. The only two visible screws I see really are these ones over here, so... Okay, so... In addition to the two screws that were right here that were pretty visible, there's a third one way down in this cavity right here, back behind where the memory or where the USB port is, and that has now released that. And you can see that screw just hanging on for dear life there. So now we can see all kinds of stuff. So I think at this stage in the game, the smartest thing to do is just tear everything apart and reseat everything and hope for the best. Alright, so I think this is another key here. So on this corner where this little foam thing is, this little piece will pry out. The little rubber thing. That was hiding um, this final screw here. Uh, that looks like it's going to be holding this whole metal tray that has the SD reader and the USB. So that tripped me up for a while. I knew there had to be a screw on that corner somewhere, but finding it was really tricky. The real question is, am I keeping track of where all these screws go good enough to put it back together? Okay. All right, so there's the micro SD reader and USB. I was hoping there would be some more connectors in here that needed to be reseated, but I'm not really... Seems like this is all one piece. So the sad thing is I'm not really seeing any other connectors that could be loose at this point. So I think the sad reality is the chances of fixing this camera are not very high, but We've come this far, might as well take this part apart just for education purposes. So it looks like there's going to be four more screws around here that will lift the actual camera sensor out of the front of uh, the GoPro.
here it comes. So we gotta remember which way it goes. And actually it looks like it's keyed, so it'll only go in the right way. Yep. Well, that's nice of GoPro. At least, um, you know, if you get this far, they reward you by making it easy to remember which way the sensor goes in. And it looks like we've got four more little screws around the camera here. Let's see what they do. And it looks like they just pull this, what appears to be heat sink, off the back of the, uh, the camera. No more connectors, no more screws. So, at this point, um, we've torn this down as far as it will possibly go. And hopefully that has helped somebody. And hopefully you guys will uh, consider subscribing to my channel. We've got um, lots of other interesting teardowns and... Uh, vehicle repairs and all kinds of random repair odds and ends. So I'm going to put this together on the off chance that something will snap back together better and it will work, but otherwise, unfortunately, I think this camera's seen better days. I did find one other connector here, uh, the one that controls the LCD. It slides up into the back of here on this piece that we took out. I really don't foresee that being related, but might as well reseat that too while we're at it. So I've already pulled it out and I'm going to stick it back in before I reassemble the camera.